Okay, friends, buffer overflow vulnerability happens when a program writes more data to a buffer than it was intended to. A buffer is basically a block of memory. This excess data has the potential to overwrite or alter data stored in nearby memory spaces by overflowing. This vulnerability gives attackers the opportunity to run malicious code, change the way the software behaves, or even cause it to crash. But wait, what does that mean? Okay, look, now let's say you live in a house and you have a toy box. There is an allocated space inside this toy box for storing your toys. Assume you have a rule stating that all toys must fit neatly inside the box and that no additional space will be added. Let's now imagine that you enjoy playing games with your friends using that toy box. They give you a toy to put in the box, but they don't bother to make sure if it fits. Instead, they keep offering you toys. Even when the box is full, they continue. What do you think will happen? The very tiny space leads the toys to fall out of the box and onto the floor. A buffer like to that toy box is something found in computer programs and software. It has a designated area for storing data. Similar to when your friend attempts to fit too many toys in the box, buffer overflow attack is a technique in which someone tries to insert too much data into the memory buffer. The additional information leaks into areas it shouldn't, like toys that fall to the ground if the software doesn't check itself. Imagine the spilled toys are like secret codes or instructions for the software running. If someone with bad intentions does this on purpose, they might be able to make the computer do things it's not supposed to do, like playing a game it wasn't programmed for, or they might execute a piece of code remotely. That's why software engineers work hard to make sure the toy boxes, basically the buffers, in programs are only filled with the right amount of toys, you know, data and nothing extra to keep everything running smoothly and safely. Thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. I hope you found it helpful. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.